Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hello guys, and welcome to this new episode of What's Up Jude. Hi guys. So first of all, happy 2021. Yeah. I hope that you all spent wonderful holidays and that you are ready to get back on track this year to start or try new things, you know. And as we used to say in our latest podcast episode, sorry, if you never try, you will never know, right? So yes. most importantly is that you are uh, in good health and that you're taking her- care of you. So anyway, Leslie, how were your holidays and did you have a great time with your family? Do you have any project that you want to start or talk about? Just, you know, tell us everything. Well, first and foremost, as you said, Happy New Year, New year to everyone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> otherwise, my holidays went well and I really needed a rest. So it was a perfect uh, oppor- opportunity. I did have a great time with my family, even if because of the current situation, you know, I was not able to see all my family. So I just celebrated Christmas with my parents, my siblings and my grandmother. But it was really cool to just, uh, you know, uh, think about something else uh, than daily life. Um, But... I have to be honest with you, Alex, because oh I just God. had a... <laughs> I'm stressed out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a final exams to revise, which is, by the way, a lot. I know. Business I know. Unusual. Uh, I had some time to think about my projects and more specifically what I really want to do and try and not what society or family expect me to do. Yeah. So it was really important, you know, to just take a moment. I'm really glad. What about you? What about you, your holidays? Well, they went well, but uh, I want to say that I'm really glad that you spent great holidays with your family mm. and that you're taking care of yourself, you know. Please, I just want you to be happy. So, yeah. So my <laughs> <laughs> my holidays went well. Uh, I was revising for my final exams too, you know, so yeah. And then I watched movies with my family. We baked Christmas movies, Christmas movies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we baked a lot and I'm waiting for the snow, by the way. There yeah, me too. No, there is no snow in France. Because well, actually it was, it was, we were supposed to, you know, see the snow today and then she, they said no it's the next week it's going, going to, to rain right week. now yeah raining so we're, we are waiting for the snow right now so for the new years the new year sorry uh i i'm like personally i'm not the type of person you know to make a new year's resolution usually if i want to do something i'm going to do it right now mm. I'm not going to wait for a certain date because I feel mm. like, why, why would you wait? If you want to do right. something, do it right now. Mm. So, so yeah. And just this year, I just want to, you know, improve in whatever I'm going to do and what I will do. So I'm really excited for 2021. So anyway, today the topic is creativity. But Alex, what is creativity? What is creativity? <laughs> Creativity. Okay, so this is the use of imagination or original ideas to create something. And more common, it is yeah, imagination. Inventive, yeah, inventiveness. That that is a really hard word to uh, pronounce. So I'm sorry. So yeah, one of the main question about creativity is obviously how do you find creativity? So Alex. Tell me, tell us, how do you succeed in this process? Okay, so creativity is a weird thing, you know. But I would say that I always been a creative person. Like at a young at a young age, I've been dancing, doing music classes, and then in middle school, 
I started to do acting classes because I like musicals. So that's where I think my creativity was the most developed. Mm. Because, you know, in acting classes, we used to do setups, try new characters. So it also grows on you. Mm. Do you have anything to say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um... so what do you think of it? How do you find creativity, Leslie? Well, to be honest, actually, I am this um, period where I am not creative at all. And yes, you are. No, but okay. We all know that there is this period, this specific period where where you like what what I'm gonna do, and it's okay, you know. You need this time to because reflect. it's it's part of the process. Mm-hmm. Um, because you know sometimes you're too creative and you do no, you don't know what to do, uh, so it's okay to just you know take a step back and realize that it sometimes you you're not creative and yeah that is okay you, know? you need to accept the, this fact i feel like um you know when you're not creative at all it's because like you're bothered by something mm. and i don't know like if you talk about my case so basically in music mm-hmm. it's because i haven't been stimulated you mm. know um, this is always the same genres. You're always like, oh, I know this song because this is the mm. same conception of music. And you're like, you're like bored. So mm. basically, I think you need to reset your values, your creative values when you're like that. Mm. And maybe like if you take it as a drawing, you know, colors, okay? Just imagine colors, guys. The more colors you're going to have, you're going to have, sorry, (laughs) in a drawing, the more you're going to be stimulated, you know. But then Mm -hmm. when you use, when you have used all the colors, you're like, oh my God, I'm stuck. What am I going to do? You need to like take a step back, reflect on what what you did and then create new colors. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you get the point. The the point is also trying, even if, it's not good or you think yes. it's not good because as i said in the last episode and that podcast <laughs> <laughs> i said it was candy but actually it was nelson mandela yeah and he said either i succeed or i learn mm-hmm. um so you know, just try like you need it's, to experience all the yeah. possibilities and try maybe to discover something else like um Mm -hmm. maybe for example if i take my case uh i'm not creative at the moment so i'm planning to just make some research on calendar moon because you know maybe it can be interesting and maybe it's gonna be a trigger for me and i can be creative again you just have to be open-minded and find something else new for you yeah I agree. I agree. Trying, trying, and not just um, do the same thing over and over. Yeah. Like for example, if you're a dancer, I know that you know you 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 just imagine that you do ballet, Mm -hmm. and you want to experience. You want to do all the dance, all the dances. Like you need to experience to find your own Mm -hmm. your own way of dancing. I don't know if there are dancer among us, but if yes, you know, just leave a message to to let me know if you get what I want to 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 say. But yeah, and Leslie, like you said, it is okay to not to not be creative all the time. Because... And I I want to add also that especially this year, you know, because I do think that experiences are like the basic things to to be creative and actually if you heard about you know a virus you know 
uh, situation. <laughs> yes, uh, you know that um, we can't, for example, see our friends or, you know, just be alone outside, uh, like going to the cinema alone. We, we can't do that. So we need experiences in in order to create yes to... and this year is not the good one you know like well last maybe year. maybe it's it's, <laughs> it's the perfect one because you can learn about yourself and your feelings and maybe it's it's the perfect thing for you but some people uh, need experiences to yeah you know, to... have something to say and yeah. because create creativity is not something that is going to come right away I don't know, maybe for some people though, but it's like we said, it is a process and you need to, you need to fail. You need to redo what you were doing. You need to experience, you need to <clears throat> talk with other people. And yeah, this is a process. It's like a journey. Because uh, creativity has a direct connection with your emotions mm -hmm. and you can have, and you cannot have emotions uh, without experiences exactly. well i think it's obvious but but even emotions if we talk about that as you say it is linked to creativity and when you you don't have a lot of emotions i guess mm. you know when you, you i don't know there is mm. sometimes periods of mm. where you're like oh my god i don't want to do anything like mm. <laughs> so that's when creativity is at its at its lowest so yeah <laughs> And maybe people are wondering, how did we find creativity to make uh, our e podcast episodes? I don't know. Well, uh, for my case, um, yeah. I just think about my life. <laughs> That's and true. What is going on? Uh, for example, uh, we talk about creativity with Alex. So we choose this subject um, because actually we were... Um, listening uh, we listened sorry a podcast a french podcast and they talk about creativity yeah. so we said yeah maybe we can do our we can share our way of thinking mm -hmm. and well i'm not going to spoil spoil what is going coming to coming next <laughs> yes <laughs> but uh, you probably can relate to what we are saying here hopefully hopefully yeah, hopefully let us know please <laughs> <laughs> and yes i think that's where we find creativity mm. and like basically if we if you list if you have listened to the first episodes which is our presentation we were like yeah uh this idea of podcasting came mm. like right away mm. We like it was like obvious talking. because some sub, some topics are just completely related to our feelings. Um, if we take okay, uh, like the anxiety episode, yeah, it was it was completely what we were feeling at the time. Yeah, um, so we needed to just talk about it because if you talk, it's the first step to be better yeah um, always talk as we said in the latest mm. episodes and i even think maybe you know it's great to do a an episode on of of podcast on anxiety i was stop i was struggling <laughs> <laughs> i was struggling to talk so like we did an episode of in okay i'm going to okay i cannot speak english today i'm sorry guys so we did an episode in about anxiety sorry and i think it would be great to do another one but you know later mm. so we can see what we've been through um mm. our journey as we said mm. and how creativity and our perspective like of way of thinking has changed so yeah maybe during the third lockdown the third lockdown <laughs> stop <laughs> Because we all know what had is enough. going to happen. But... We had enough. No more lockdowns. It's becoming, it's becoming the daily life, you know. Like lockdown, 
and knock down, lock down, and knock down. down. Yeah. I was kidding. Oh my god. It's been a year, and yeah. but right now we are in 2021. So I hope, I really hope, um, all of this is going to end because we are all getting tired of it, and creativity is being impacted, like really. <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes in a good way because I saw yeah. um, uh, on IG yesterday, I think, yeah, um, a woman who just developed her creativity, but in like deeply. And uh, thanks to the lockdown. Yes, and her pictures were amazing. Um, I can't I remember her name, but. It was it was amazing because you know you are in lockdown so you have to be creative to especially if it's your job on uh, social media you have to be so much creative and I don't know it can you be you need to find ideas every time yeah so yeah I hope twenty twenty thanks yeah. to thanks to Sorry. to the lockdown <laughs> thanks to the lockdown you know you um, like details matters mm -hmm. in your house uh, the lights or you know everything you you Did thought you just, you just it used. was nothing yeah, yeah. and something this is now how can i say that um all the little things matters and yeah the thing that you've used to to i don't know how do you say that <laughs> <laughs> like you are more um uh, aware aware yeah of the details well, we are struggling to, to talk uh, english today so yeah. please excuse us <laughs> <laughs> uh, also it's super early in the morning so yeah that's why anyway if you have do you have anything to say or maybe we're gonna wrap up i don't know what do our listeners need to um to remember in this episode be creative is okay not be creative is okay mm -hmm. um also it's not because like society says that you have to be creative in a certain way mm -hmm. like i don't know like um with colors or something like that that you have to do it you know if you're the type of person who just like black and white photos do black and do white it. photos like just do, do it. Do what creativity means to you. Because it's Thank very, you. it's very personal, and yeah, it's it's a part of you. So you know, like ju just do what you want. Because if you do something, there there will always be someone who yeah, who yeah. are going to criticize you. So so <laughs> creativity has to be defined by each and every one of us, mm. and. Everyone can have its proper definition, I guess. Mm. That's what I would say. Be aware and of the yeah. of all the little details because all of this matters. Matter. <laughs> <laughs> Be open minded also. And experience all the possibilities. Yes. Thank you for listening <laughs> to this episode, guys. And yeah. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.